All right, what it do, YouTube family? It's your girl, I go by Neek, and I'm back with another video. And today I want to talk to you guys about why I do not suggest using TuneCore to my clients. Now, this is going to be a very controversial video. I don't know how the powers that be are going to react to this video. So I need you guys to subscribe to my channel, hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload new content. You know, that's how it's going to help me out. Uh, and if you haven't, please make sure you download a copy of the Hitchhiker's Guide to releasing music. And I should actually add a how to start a clothing brand in XYZ and do more stuff. Because in that book, I am giving you guys so much information. So if you haven't had a copy, got a copy, go get one. So again, in this video, I'm talking to you guys why I do not suggest using TuneCore to my clients. So as you guys may know, TuneCore has announced its new unlimited release plans. Everyone got excited about these unlimited release plans. I knew about these unlimited release plans since last year because I was approached by TuneCore to be a influencer. Um, I actually have about six or seven videos on my channel that's sponsored directly from TuneCore from last year. And those videos, I talked to you guys about releasing music. And um, I'll put the link to those videos on my channel. Um, but after doing some research about TuneCore and working with TuneCore and then also dealing with a bunch of different clients that use TuneCore, I have a lot of problems with what TuneCore offer and how they manage the artists. So again, these I'm not even going to go into the plans because I'm not promoting the plans. So I'm actually going to continue without a plan. So my first gripe with the way this model is, is what happens to the releases for the artists that already have been releasing their music. So for those artists particularly, now you are forced to go with the unlimited model. And so now, if you don't go with the unlimited model, I'm guessing you're already paying yearly for each one of your releases. So as you guys know, um, there's so many other issues that you deal with when you release your music. So if I go to my YouTube channel, a lot of my community has been talking about, I released my music with TuneCore, they put my songs on someone else's YouTube page, and it's just so many other issues that a lot of my clients and a lot of you know the guys that are part of my YouTube community dealing with so i'm going to read one of the comments that i got this is five days ago it says hi i sent out my music a month ago with TuneCore. at first everything was under youtube account it was on there today and now it's under another guy's account now this is a very prevalent issue and this issue has been popping up a lot lately with a lot of my clients a lot of the people that i've been working with that issue has been coming up and so for me, this is one of the biggest issues that I have with TuneCore. And this is actually why I'm making this video and why I also turned down the continued partnership that TuneCore wanted to have with me. And I'll go to my email and I'll show you guys the emails that I was receiving from the person who was uh, controlling my... Um, sponsorship situation so again the reason why I turn these guys down is because when my artists and when my clients was having issues like their music being on someone else's YouTube page they would contact TuneCore and they would get no help whatsoever and so that was a big issue for me because when you're dealing with artists, you have to figure out a way to solve their problems. 
And so when my clients come to me and they have problems that need to be solved, I need to figure out a way to help get their problem solved. And so when I'm contacting TuneCore, trying to solve their problems, and I'm realizing, oh, I don't have any type of way to create customer service for my clients. There's no customer service being had. And so I, I, I urged my clients to not use TuneCore because the reason being is because they don't even provide you any help. They don't provide you help when you need the help. They don't provide you the information um, when you need the information. So uh, this is actually the email thread between me and the person who I've been working with through TuneCore about my partnership. And as you guys can see, I, the last email I sent to them was on June 6th. I said, if I am to make this video authentic to my audience, I would need access to each release plan. So basically what this means is that they wanted me to take my money and go in and pay for the release plan. So basically, they're paying me to make the video, but I have to take a portion of my money that I'm making from them to go pay to get access to uh, the tune core. And that was kind of like, okay, I wasn't with that. But then also understanding like, okay, they, their customer service is absolutely terrible. The customer service is terrible. Um, nobody is available when you need them to help you. And so this is why I've been urging all of my clients and all of my community, switch to DistroKid, okay? Switch to DistroKid. And the reason being is because, and I'm not saying that DistroKid has better customer service, but what I am saying is that when it's time to facilitate the proper registration of your release, that's something that DistroKid has made it their mission to f make sure they facilitate that. And what I mean is that built in to Distro's kid, DistroKid's um, uh, you know, website, they have what, what you call goodies, okay? And these goodies gives you special access. What's the special access? You get access to your YouTube for artist channel, Spotify, Apple Music, Audio Mac, Twitch, and Tidal, all of this stuff. This stuff is, is super important. And the reason why this stuff is important is because a lot of my clients and a lot of you guys are going through the same issue of you're releasing your music on uh, streaming services. And you might have the same exact name as another artist, and because that artist has already claimed that name on whatever platforms, your music is being sent directly to that artist's channel. So, you know, I tell you guys to download a copy of the book because I want you guys to register your music before you release it. And that's, a, that's something that a lot of you guys don't understand. And that's why you get caught up in a lot of these problems. Because the process of release, which is something that I help facilitate for my clients, the process of release is more than just releasing the music and then going back and registering the music. So again, if you do not have a copy of The Hitchhiker's Guide to Releasing Music, make sure you get you a copy because in that book I'm going to show you how to register and release your music the proper way and also if you want to join DistroKid, if you aren't a part of DistroKid community, make sure you click the link in the description and use my promo code so that you can get a discount on DistroKid, especially if you are a TuneCore user because TuneCore is not the move right now. They are working on some things. They got to get some things right. They got to get their customer service right. And also, Distro, like I said, DistroKid just makes it easier for you to facilitate the process of release, which is super duper important. So if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload new content. And again, if you want to join the DistroKid community, click the link in the description. Join DistroKid. Use my promo code. Thank you very much.